WVU boxer Bobby Hopes fought in the National College Boxing Tournament on April 4th through the 7th in West Point, New York. In her first ever fight at Nationals, Hopes fought Leah Hartzell from Lock Haven University in the women's 147 pound weight class. After dominating the first round, Hopes began to lose momentum as the referee continued to stop the bout for injury breaks. I should have just gone back to what I knew and been more cautious, moved a lot more, and not just stood and stood right in front of her and banged, as we say. After the referee stopped the fight a final time, it was clear Hopes had lost the bout. Her dedication was obvious, though, as the bout was fought tooth and nail before that conclusive referee decision. Although the result did not go her way, head boxing coach Brandon Lyle commended Hopes on her efforts this season. From a year of just kind of hitting mitts and tooling around on bags to committing to competing, um, I think others really need to have a look at Bob's mindset and, and what she set out to do. Hopes took a real sense of pride from being the only West Virginia University boxer at Nationals and she has taken quite a bit of knowledge and experience from her involvement in fighting this season. I mean, overall, obviously, I've learned a new skill, but I think I've just grown stronger as a person and made a lot of really great connections out of it. Hopes was a senior and the WVU Boxing Club president this year, so the organization will undergo changes in the offseason. Next season, um, it's going to be a lot of recruitment. We have a lot of students at this school that we're not tapping into. Uh, some of those people we're not tapping into uh, could be our next national champion. If any potential fighters would like to sign up to be a part of the WVU Boxing Club, they can find their information by searching WVU Boxing Club on Facebook and Twitter. Also, fighters should be keen to look out for summer training programs and tryouts in the fall. For Journalism 386, I'm Colin Spangler in Morgantown.